Hi, I'm Ruth. I'm the course leader for Fine Art here at Huddersfield New College. And I'm going to be talking you through some processes that we use in Fine Art. Okay, so in Fine Art you'll develop a wide range of techniques and processes, starting with drawing, painting, printmaking and collage. Today I'm going to be talking you through a printmaking process that we do here, um, and that's etching and intaglio. So, in the first year, you'll have workshops on these processes, okay, and you'll do some printmaking, and then you can develop it further later on with some drawing and painting. So here's some examples of some second year work. And on the wall here, we've got an example of a, a more of a final outcome where a print has been further developed with some drawing, okay? Now, you're wondering about the print process of intaglio. Well, traditionally, you would etch into a metal plate, okay, and you would have a print. But um, at college, for being safer, we use um, some shiny foil card, okay, and then the students can get just as good an outcome with this, okay. So it's nice and safe. Um, compared to the traditional etching process. Now, artists would make prints on the side of perhaps um, selling their paintings, so they'd make lots of multiple prints. The idea of printmaking is that you can make multiple prints and kind of sell them, or um, as a student, you would work into them and find out, you know, your preferred media. Okay, so with um, an intaglio, you would draw first, so you draw your design. So students would sometimes draw from life, so they'd have um, a setup in front of them, or from a photograph. So they'd draw it out first, and then they can scratch and peel away. So the idea of intaglio is that you're working into this board, okay, and scratching and indenting making lots of marks, okay? So you're going to make lots of mark making, um, like you would, so it's like drawing into the plate, okay? So you can draw from direct observation and you can make lots of marks. Another idea is what we do, is you can peel away your negative space, okay? So the space around the objects and the subject matter. So you can score, some of the shiny card, okay, and then you can peel it away. And the idea of peeling it away means that the ink, when I show you later on about inking up, the ink holds in this area and prints in a dark space like I've done here, okay? So the students use this a lot, okay, and it's a workshop that I teach here. And then, you know, it can develop into many different things. All right? So now I'm going to show you the inking up and printing process at the etching press that we have in the classroom. So we come over to an area where we would ink up. Okay, and this is usually kept separate to where you work, okay, and it allows you to get some ink and spread it and make a little bit of a, a kind of a tidy mess, okay, with the ink. Um, so, we use the inks, okay, and these are water-based oil inks, okay, and you use a spreader, okay, something that will spread it nice and ev evenly. So what you want to do is you want to spread it and push it into all the etched lines that you've made, okay, and anywhere that you've peeled away, okay. Now you can use more than one colour and kind of start spreading it, okay. And for safety here, we'll wear gloves to keep your fingers clean. So you need to be spreading it and going back to ink, getting a bit more and pushing it into all of those grooves and the etched lines that you've made on your intaglio board, okay? And obviously, whilst on the course, you'll pick up lots of terminology as well and key words related to you know, all the processes and techniques that you're learning throughout the year. And also on the course, 
you'll be referring to artists and designers that you, you've looked at. So it'll probably give you a range of artists to look at, either traditional and contemporary. Okay, so then you get an old rag and you start to take off the excess ink, okay? And this is called buffing the print. So you buff the print up. So like I told you before, we use, traditionally it's used metal. So this is a shiny card. And the idea, it has to be a shiny surface to be, in order to wipe away and make it nice and clean where you've not etched and scratched, okay? So once you've done that, then probably move it over here into a bit more of a cleaner area. And I usually take my gloves off at this point and start to use tissue paper to wipe off again more excess ink. Okay? So the idea is that you're not touching it, you're not getting your finger marks on it and greasy finger marks. And whilst you're doing this, you can start to see all of your etch lines and all the work, hard work that you've made and scratched into the print. So it starts to come alive in front of you. Okay, now I'm going to show you the printing process where we use paper and the etching press. Right, so whilst you're inking up, you would normally soak some paper in some water and then we're going to give it a bit of a shake, take it out of the tray let it drip down, put it on the blotting paper. And this paper is, you know, very absorbent, so it will take away some of the excess water. And what you want is damp paper when you come to press. Okay. And the damp paper will help push all of the... Um, the ink and all the areas where you've scratched, okay, it will help push um, whilst it's under the press. So you line it up, push it down, and put um, some paper, newsprint paper to protect the blanket. Put this across, this is a felt blanket, okay. And you have clean hands at this point, you know, you're not supposed to have inky hands. And then this is a really good, big etching press. So if students in the second year like this process, they might make a bigger etching print, okay? And this is very, very heavy. Uh, so we'll roll it through. And the idea is it pushes the damp paper into all the etched lines and the ink that you've inked up, okay? And you can usually sometimes feel it hit the press or hit the roller. And on the other side. And you will have a print. So you can see you've got your print and your etching. Okay. And these uh, prints can be further developed. Okay. And you can use your preferred media. So students have, in the past, they have um, drawn into them with various different media. Some students have stitched into them, okay, after working into them a bit more, collaged. They've painted, okay, added layers, lots of words. It depends on your theme, okay. So this is just one of the many processes that you'll learn here at Huddersfield New College on the Fine Art course.